Hey everybody, welcome to another week here at The Tolerant. As you can tell, we are back down in the area underneath our porch and underneath our entrance area and we are digging the trench again. Uh, bear with me, this is obviously a lot of hard work. We are not, um, unfortunately I couldn't find anybody who wants to do this and so I am just digging here this all by myself. I might have a couple friends come over the next um, few weeks to help me finish this but um, in general I was um, advertising for it but I couldn't find anybody. So we'll have to do it ourselves. We have to dig the trench to get down to the level where we need to be. Reason why I want to get this done um, and not just wait until maybe I could find somebody is because um, this is going is um, getting into the rainy season of the year, and I want to be sure that we don't have so much water going into our underneath our foundation. So I'm just trying to get this all done as um, before the craziest storms are coming. Now that we have lights here, a little bit more permanent, it's easier to work in. Um, I am going to dig here. Unfortunately, um, I couldn't find anybody who's willing to do the digging. Um, I guess um, twenty dollars an hour isn't enough um, to do manual labor anymore, anymore nowadays. So I guess I'll have to do it myself. Uh, maybe I'll get a few friends uh, to help me. But um, I will start digging here, and then um, we will. Just flat, try to flatten it all out to the same level and then eventually we'll tr uh, take the trench for the French drain that we need to do. So let's get started.
We made some decent progress. We made it all the way to the floor level here. Right there we have five and a half of these blocks and over here it's six and a half, which is exactly where the floor inside is. So we made it about two thirds of the way into the, uh, uh, to the end of the wall where most of the water is actually coming on over there. So next week, hopefully we'll finish this. And then we already dug a smaller little channel over here. So you can tell we still have to go next week another foot over there. The whole section needs to come down another foot to two foot to flatten out all the way to the entrance over there. And then we can dig the trench and hopefully we get that also done next week right through the middle here where we then put the French drain in. One thing you can tell here I dug a little trench for the water over here on the outside there's water coming in it's actually where the roof drains right now so we always have a lot of water pooling here since we started digging and you can tell it's over here all behind this wall so when we eventually take this whole wall down then we won't have this issue anymore but obviously for right now just dug a small little channel so we can do that so the other thing that I'm going to do is instead of just putting a French drain along here going then uh, into the corner around the corner here we also are going to put in um, a four inch PVC pipe itself I'm gonna run it all the way to the back there too and then actually I'm gonna run it up vertically and let it stick out of the ground what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna put a drain here somewhere at the center when we then put the concrete in we're gonna slope towards the drain and then we'll probably also have a drain hole somewhere here over in this corner maybe one over here and we feed it all into that area just so that we will never have any water issues on top of our concrete there either and then what also will uh, probably gonna happen is our PVC pipe here that I'm gonna run next to the French drain I will also connect a, a drain in our utility room right there is the hot water heater in that window um, so I'm gonna put a drain right there in the on the floor in case the hot water um, system leaks and we need to drain it that way we can just go into the ground um, and it will just go down the ravine here um, when we feed it all down there but that's obviously a whole another project I'm sure people are wondering how our vacation was we really enjoyed it we had a wonderful time uh, we got there we brought our kids up Julie didn't know so it was a big surprise for her we brought our kids up to uh, my brother-in-law and they watched them for the entire uh, extended weekend and then on Saturday morning we flew uh, from Washington DC down to Florida we stayed in Destin it was beautiful the weather on the first day was a little uh, overcast and a little rainy but actually that made it really nice because the water was really warm it was around 85 degrees and so of the, the ocean so it was nice and warm. We uh, did really just relax the entire weekend. We also got some massages on Sunday and we really had a wonderful relaxing um, time to really just recuperate and come back to work, kids, and just enjoy ourselves, especially on an anniversary. So that was really nice. And we stayed there all. Um, anybody who hasn't been on the Gulf side of the coast in Florida, um, we stayed in the Keys once. Um, we also stayed up here at uh, in Destin, which is the the far left of the Panhandle, so almost in Louisiana, Alabama um, area over there. And the beaches there are really gorgeous. The sand is like so soft. Um, people compare that beach there to the Maldives. There is um, it's as fine of a sand. So really can only um, recommend it if anybody is looking for a vacation spot there's plenty of different options um, with campers or even uh, nicer hotels we stayed obviously in a nice hotel we just wanted to relax but I can really only recommend it um, if you're wondering what it looked like um, just um, we have we post a few pictures post a few pictures on our Instagram so just go over there check it out um, if you're not already following um, just go over there check it out and we always post a few extra 
pictures um, the week before we post the video, of course, um, of what we are doing at the house, but then also what is happening behind the scenes. So if you are wondering, just follow up over on Instagram. Well, if it wasn't sh uh, hard enough already to dig in the clay dirt, I also find some uh, bricks that they left over when they extended or lowered the basement a few extra feet and they put in the blocks. They threw some of those bricks behind the wall that they were uh, putting up to just as fill dirt. So it makes it extra hard because you have to work around them with the tools before you can get them out. But I guess um, it's just what it is. Um, we want to get this done. I know this video is a little bit more on the boring, same thing side, but um, unfortunately it's just something we gotta get done so that we can get the French drain in, which then means we can remove the sump pump from our basement. And when we remove our sump pump, we can then test our current plumbing system um, or our new plumbing system. And then we will um, connect it to the city when, I, when everything tests out and we get the inspection approved. So that is the goal here in the next few weeks. Hopefully also, I'm gonna give an update on the windows soon. I'm going to check with the window manufacturer when they are arriving, but I think we should probably in the next three to four weeks, um, they should be getting ready to be shipping. So we ordered them about 12, 13 weeks ago. So we should soon be getting them. And so hopefully that is the case. They said somewhere in their 16 to 18 weeks. So hopefully they're arriving soon. It will obviously be only first three windows so we can put them in and test them out, see if we like it. And then unfortunately we have to order obviously all, other, all, all our other windows in another uh, patch. But um, I did it that way just so that I can verify this is an old house. So not everything goes as planned. So therefore I wanted to verify with my first few windows um, if we like it. Um, the way it's installing um, and if we need to adjust anything we can do so so unfortunately the windows the rest of the windows will probably not gonna arrive until december or january just based on the lead times i hope lead times has been improving a little bit um, if we are lucky and then um, they might arrive a little bit sooner but um, i expect beginning of the year is when, when we are going to install those windows so i think this is it for this week and I hope you guys all have a wonderful week and I will see you the next time I turn on the camera. Bye. So I have one question for all the builders out there. Um, we dug all the way down to the level that the floor inside is. So I am debating if I need to go deeper for the actual trench where the, um, where the a French drain itself is going into, but I am not sure. Um, the water is obviously coming in. The water is actually usually coming in at this level up here. So having dug already further than where the water is normally penetrating is already an improvement. But I want to make sure not that I'm uh, just putting the French drain in here now and then the water is going to come in um, from lower anyway. So um, if anybody knows or what, uh, what do you guys think if I should go another foot, at least a trench. I'm obviously not going to do the whole area. I'm just going to do a trench for the... Um, for the French drain itself, to, uh, so the pipe can go in there and then the gravel around it um, and the fabric, of course. Um, but I'm wondering, do I need, to, uh, should I just stay at the level of the floor inside or should I be below the level of the floor where the pipe is going? If you have an answer, just leave it, uh, leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. Um, this is obviously not my expertise of what I'm normally doing, so therefore um, just reaching out to see if anybody else has any ideas.